instrument for chromatography, we are, try, we are going to use DLC uh, to check the efficiency of the separation technique we used last class, and that was extraction. After the extraction, I told you to save your sample, which we had the neutral product inside a beaker, and the, the acid, the organic acid on the, on the watch glass. To prepare the sample, you just take a tip of a spatula, very small amount of the sample, you place in a test tube and add 20 to 25 drops of acetone. It's just making a solution. I prepared this solution just like that. And I labeled the test tubes as I have one for acid and one for the, one for the neutral compound. So I'm going to, uh, I have the solutions, I have my samples right now here, but before I put the samples on the TLP plate, just like for part A, I'm going to make my developing chamber. The developing chamber, piece of the filter paper goes into the jar and the solvent or mobile phase in this um, part is a mixture, 50-50% mixture of hexane and T-butyl, methyl ether. TBME is the abbreviation for that. We are going to use five milliliters of each. I'm using five milliliters. I'm going to add the five milliliters uh, of the hexane. And I'm adding the five milliliters of the, uh, the second solvent, T-butyl methyl ether. Uh, you can measure in two separate graduate cylinders, five milliliters each, and uh, mix it together in the developing jar, or put the five milliliter and carefully add another, the second one until it reaches 10. Be careful not to go uh, past 10. We are going to close this jar. I like to store it to, to make sure that vapor is generated the inside the developing chamber, it gets saturated with the vapor faster or smooth moving, as I said before, just repeating. Our TLC plate, I again, touching just the side of the plate, not trying not to touch the surface of the plate. We are going to add the, the spots and, um, you can make a separate diagram on the paper so you know what sample is where. I'm going to carefully, using this pencil, write the, the neutral, like write the N for the neutral compound. I'm just writing a, a, a small mark of N for neutral compound. Um, a for acid. So I have A for acid, N for neutral. And I'm also going to mix the two. Why did I mix the two? Because I want you to be able to see it later on. If there is impurity, how would it look like? I'm not sure if your sample has impurity or not, so let's try it. But in case if your sample is pure and doesn't have impurity, we want to uh, make sure that we see the difference between the pure sample and the impure sample. So the neutral compound goes on N, acid, going to place the acid on A. I only make a small amount of the solution because it doesn't take too much of a sample. That's one of the benefits of the chromatography. Chromatography is, is considered a non-invasive technique because if you only have one drop of sample, you can do chromatography. And for the mixture, just see how, how I'm applying the mixture. I just put one drop of the acid. And on top of that, I'm going to add one drop of the neutral compound. So I'm adding the drop of the neutral compound on top of it. So I can't put this back on the test tube because it was, it did touch the uh, the acid, so not using that anymore. And now we are going to place in developing chamber. Just 
touching the side only, carefully place it in the galloping chamber and wait for it to reach the top of the TLC plate, about half an inch from the top of the TLC plate. So we are waiting for that to happen. Again, the video would be paused. I come back when it's almost the top. Okay, the height of the solvent on the TLC plate, it went up about 80%, about half an inch from the top. We mark that line right away before it dries up. And this one is, this solvent is going to dry up faster, looks like. There is no water in there. Uh, almost dry. Going to take it to the UV lamp and we watch it under the UV lamp again. We are watching the, the TLC plate under the UV lamp. It's nice that we have also different color. I uh, um, I see a different color for the neutral from the from the acid. That has to do with the number of pi bonds our neutral compound has, but that's something you can include in your in your lab report. Um, I'm going to circle the spots as it appears, but I just want to mention that for this part of the experiment, we are not concerned about the RF. We already know what the compounds are. I, we just want to see if the sample that they were extracted or purified using extraction, does it show any impurity or not? If you look at the acid here, um, this actually doesn't show any mixture of the neutral compounds. Our acid compound, uh, our neutral compound doesn't show any acid mix. And I also, for comparison, I mix the two samples for the smaller spot in the, um, as a third um, sample, you could see that you do have the mixture of the two in the mixture, it shows both of them. So let's say if our acid compound um, had some of the neut uh, neutral, organic neutral compound as impurity, you would have something, uh, you know, here as uh, another spot of with this like a native blue color right here, uh, you would uh, see that, uh, I, I, I don't know if I call it native blue color, it's just a color, the blue color uh, spot here for the neutral compound, but it doesn't show there. That just proves that the samples that we extracted last time, we are showing as a single sample and it is um, not, not mixed, which you are going to um, take a screenshot of this and um, take as an image, include in the uh, lab report and explain about the nature of the two samples and the mixture that I put in there as a, for a purpose. I will include a picture also in the still shot of this in the, um, in the video for you to visualize it again, easier. Thank you. <laughs>